Meantime, Joe Biden has inaugurated, has been inaugurated rather as the 46th president of America. At the inauguration ceremony, he addressed key issues in the U.S. and reassured Americans of his commitment to rebuilding the nation. In this next report, Plus TV Africa's Annette Felix tells us more. Millions of people worldwide watched a live stream, and only a handful of people attended in person as Joe Biden and Kamala Harris took the oath of office as the 46th president and vice president of the United States. After they were sworn in, Joe Biden took to the stage to deliver this speech. Democracy is precious. Democracy is fragile. And at this hour, my friends, democracy has prevailed. Some believe Biden's words resonate hope and healing of a divided America. But on PLOS TV Africa's flagship program, The Breakfast, political analyst Professor Pat Utomi has this to say. Well, his speech was appropriate, but not extraordinary, but appropriate. It responded to the moment. Uh, it was not like the Camelot uh, invoking speech of John F. Kennedy. Uh, and there have been great inaugural addresses. Uh, you may even go back uh, uh, to that of Abraham Lincoln. One of Biden's key messages was that his administration can deliver on racial justice and make America once again the leading force for good in the world. Professor Utomi agrees that Biden can achieve that. He has started with the nominations uh, that he has uh, made. This is probably, if Senate approves everything, going to be the most inclusive cabinet in American history of all the divides in America. So that is a, a starting point of bringing people together. In his speech on Wednesday, Biden promised to set aside politics and urged Americans to face the pandemic as one nation. From get-go, Donald Trump was a science doubter. So that mindset affected how he approached uh, the coronavirus issue, and it hurt America. People like uh, Dr. Uh, Anthony Fauci struggled with, with trying to report to a president who didn't believe in their work uh, under Trump. And I think that the science community will get a chance to do what they know how to do well. The highly anticipated inauguration of the 46th president and vice president of the U.S. has come and gone. But the speech President Joe Biden gave at the Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., will continue to be a reference point of the rebuilding of America. Annetta Felix, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.